playing with that? Sorry. Explosives! to get out of here. Away and file your heads, you weightless ah. cock! Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Them behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful, those people might still be here. How the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked! We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy! Christ! 
start charging! Sin no more. Now I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. His name, lie to us. Calm down, he's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll stop. They've captured one of the home army lads. He could signal somebody for the window. Then why don't you fuck off back to Canary House if you're worried about it? it. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. If this doesn't work, I won't feel stupid for long. Trunks away! Margaret, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes.
There. Don't you feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. I'm not. I saw you. I was just scratching. I liked it. You did? That little jump you did where you spun in the air. Ah, uh, the pirouette. I used to do that quite gracefully. It was a song and dance man. Back in the day. And then you had to join the army? Nay, yeah, and then I had to eat. You've never seen me skinny. I'm not nearly as pretty when I'm skinny. <laughs> Could you teach me to do a pirouette? All right. Uh, well, uh, you twist your legs like this. Glad I came by. A dud bomb. Don't you like to extract the TNT from them? Almost as sweet as you, Margaret. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crowd, Meg. Do you know that? All right. Now you can make one of those sugar hypodermics. Now don't forget to use it if you start feeling weak. But don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. Still, you bastard.
that some would say property is theft. Bonnet bun. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserted? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The cherries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. But it won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. Nothing like sitting when you've been walking. Tain hut. I made a doll of Mum. It's very like her. Is it? I wasn't sure. She was a tad taller. It's a doll. She was taller. That's not very funny. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. You miss her. I guess. It's just... how everything is now. Nothing's the same. The way things were doesn't even seem real. I sort of miss it, and I sort of... It doesn't seem real. You have too much wisdom at your age. It's hardly fair. I got to be a complete numpty until I was 30. <laughs> what are you smiling for? We entertain girls all day long here. Yeah? Oh, I wish we did. <laughs> Sorry about the beard. Wait a second. Why does this house look familiar? Because you've been passing it every week for a decade? Why do I have a vague memory I stashed one or two presents from a future self in there? It's vague because you were drunk. No one likes a nag, Margaret. You wouldn't happen to remember exactly where, would you? For once, she's silent. Yeah. 
Well, that is better than a pork in the eye with a sharp stick, as the Yanks say. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill you. See if I don't. What's that? So the sergeant said. They're blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. Fucking Starkey's back. There's I need to speak the to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I hope I've not made you late for supper. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. But we can't get into the military camp. Well, what about the distillery? They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. Oh, they are. 
Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him. What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. You're right. You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. Thank God you're here. I think they draw to the plastic. Wait, Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Pal. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you going to help me out? Are you going to help me out here, Starkey? <laughs> Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Well... This'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Baden Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day, studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. Give it a whirl. How the hell does all this work? So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. You're awfully good at this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, fond memories. Careful, I don't think they like you very much here. So the sergeant says, I didn't see you at camouflage training. So I says, thanks. Attention all personnel. If you find any plague mushrooms... Infiltrate! <laughs> They're here! They're back! Come back for a... Sorry you had to see that. Donald! Ollie? What possessed you to come here? Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. She will be given 30 days in the brig. Soldiers found trafficking in contraband will be court martialed and dishonorably discharged. That's it, on the double, soldier. I like marching. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Oh. 
Tell the Sandman I said hello. The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp! Paper mashing! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, I. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> They'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Huh? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better. Doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, I Hop in. Do you remember my meat pounder? That I lent you two years ago? And you lost it, smashing some televisions? That's Fresh quite salt. an obsession of yours, isn't it? Everything. I can't Bloody stand Uncle Jack's salt. stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor. No. You bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey. Not two even up accounts. It's chafe, is all. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starkey in that cart, are ya? I don't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm gonna have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. 
Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the General will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Ollie Starkey! <laughs> I hear your house fell down! <laughs> Let me guess. A bottle of the usual. Much as I enjoy our quotidian transactions, I'm afraid I'm in need less of a distillation and more of a ratiocination. Oh, fuck up with the word of the day. Can we just open the gate for once? I could, but I won't. There is a mystery that confounds the best minds of the constabulary. A pomacious puzzle, if you will. Last night, there was unexpected morbidity at the apple tree and malevolence at the Marlis Pomila, so to speak. Someone died last night at the apple tree. Find out how and why. And this bridge opens up to you like a rose in summer. Someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What did you think, lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District? They don't have televisions there, do they? Yep, they're dead. Let's file our report. You won't get past the Bobby without details. Who killed them? And how and why? Fine! I was just trying to protect your delicate sensibilities. I am dead, Ollie. The gate's now locked. But someone brought a chain and his own lock. Someone locked them in. Just sad end to a beautiful life. Since when do you care about bobbies? Forget the bobbies. The tree. She's not going to produce fruit in a state she's in. Ollie, we not hear about a murdered tree. It's not the blights killed her. Something else. Don't mind me, love. I'm just here to read the meet up. It happened at night, but they're not wearing their gas masks. Why would they cast them off? Smells like... mustard. Oh dear God, tell me no one's got mustard gas bombs. That's a nasty way to die. Not that there are many cheery ones. There's how. We just need the why and the who. Oh, maybe you'd like to wake the dead and ask them your questions. The dead say to leave no stone unturned. Really? Of course not. If I could talk to the dead, I'd just ask them who murdered them. No stone or stone called Bobby. This is our dead tree now. Fuck off. A tad bit territorial, aren't we? I guess there's the one what done it. Really, we shouldn't be moving them. Oh, I did it, Ken. 
If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. Do like I've told you, Meg. Don't do like I do. I'm afraid you... What the hell does that mean? Aside from the obvious. Shovel. Fertilizer, not the murder weapon. This one's buggered. I think someone shoved an ice pick through the filter. You know, in all my time in the army, I never fired a shot. This one protect you against a ferret's fart. Buggered again. Have you got some answers for me? It appears your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with... The masks were tampered with. But who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy Jack! Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget a pop of joy before you hit the revolver. That's almost better than wish. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity drive? On your trolley, you huffy wee fuck bumper! Ollie! Oh, my goodness. You're Ollie Starkey. It's Ollie Starkey! Fuck the lot of you! Ja <laughs> There he is! Get him, lads! Ah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> 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 ah. <You> <laughs> <laughs> Running off to Ollie, I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. 
They shape your face into a smile, and when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Help! There's a downer in my... Ah! 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 <sighs> Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything, just please. Give me my joy! I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. So, she's got a bit of sugar, make milk. Thank you. 
Mm. I don't think she likes him very much. Thanks, say the blisters. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? We're not going to give it to her. This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am going to kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Okay, Mr. Birthwhistle, you can have as big an office as you like. Mm, that doesn't sound like Miss Bing, does it? Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Miss Bing, is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? If you're going to talk to that Bobby, you can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed to look like then? King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. Come in, constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Please. Come in, constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. 
Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the executive committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. Is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'll throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yoghurt. What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Well, that's coffee yoghurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight. Nighty night, everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yoghurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Get away! So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you, uh... Open up, please. I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so.
an accounting of all the gardening supplies. She can pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air! Open the door! I'm suffocating! <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word! Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Just let me point them in the right direction. Bloody brawsers. <clears throat> I've never even heard of Prudence Holmes. Why don't you ask someone else? You really ought to think things through. I did think it through. Bloody rot. Off you go. I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? This thing is everything all right. I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Who ever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naismith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom. I'll make my own determination as to her localization. No! Oh, come right in! Miss Bing? You're around. You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. <sighs> the children could stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier-mâché. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please. 
Give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> All right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, nah, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh! People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry, find them. Well, that was unexpected. Ow! But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. Been a while, hasn't it? I'm terribly sorry, sir. The executive committee have decided to close the parade of visitors for the duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you can dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck! Sake. It wasn't helping me anyways. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, I've tried. Then how does the Motlin get to the village from the mines on Apple Home? You're right, there must be tunnels. I've no idea where. Do I have to spell it out for you? Dr. Faraday! Oh yes, she designed the Motlin flow system. Oh, she's got to have the blueprints for the Motlin tunnels. Bravo, Ollie. One day you won't need me anymore. Don't you start talking nonsense, lassie. <laughs> I'll go see Dr. Faraday. So the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. But there's the motorline tunnels. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a copy. People take joy on purpose. Lovely day for it. Watch out for Scurvy. Simon says. Step on one lit platform. Take a flying fuck at the moon! Wait, I didn't say Simon Says. Molly! There's no one here but us ravens. You did it. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Simon Says, step on two platforms. Simon says, go drown yourself in the river!
Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy! You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice! Step on three link forms. Ha 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 ha! I didn't say Simon Says! Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you white sting! Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have to, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Actun and Max Snell, you bloody charlatan. Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. Couldn't be better, thanks. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? What are you doing there? Go forth and sin no more. absence of absence, I'm afraid. James, you don't have to air our dirty laundry to every stranger that passes by. If you do the wash, we wouldn't have so... Anyway, this is Ollie Starkey. Who's he when he's at home? We serve together at Ramsgate. Oh, Ramsgate. Sorry to intrude. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Roger. You wouldn't happen to ken the whereabouts of Dr. Faraday? Not actually sure. She was always talking about making a portal in the universe. It sounds ridiculous, but, 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 but Rogers says, well, we're a little worried she succeeded. Don't tell anyone. If she has gone for good, we're out of work. I was sort of hoping... Well, she designed the motoring pipes under the city, didn't she? Oh, yes. That was one of the first things she did on her own, after Mr. Faraday went on holiday. You're not going down into those tunnels, are you? It's like tangled hair down there. You know, like what's in the shower drain because certain people don't clean it. I was hoping there might be uh, blueprints. There must be, but the place is such a mess and she blew it up. The bodies won't even let us downstairs to water the plants. If Dr. F comes back and they're all dead, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that's too bad. Ollie, they want you to do it. Well then why didn't they... I could water them for you. Oh, would you? We could try and dig up your plans while you do. Once again, the heroes of Ramsgate save the nation. You can take your joy
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll make a gardener of you yet. I think we found your flower bricks. Brilliant. Give us a look then. The thing is, we need someone to pollinate the flowers down there. Pollinate? Is your bum out the window? You can't expect a soldier to know about flowers, James. Well, we can't go down there, can we? It's my bee cannon. It's her bee cannon? Well, she made it for me. I thought you were worried about pollinating the plants. All right, fine. Here's the bee cannon. You'll love it. It's got cannon in its name. What am I to do with that? Just find some bees, suck them up, go to the flowers, spit them out. I'll do my best. Bees. There's no bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it, it's back to the garden district, isn't it? They're the only ones around here clever enough to plan for winter, and now they're pretty much fucked. For Father Nature. But didn't you think that was funny? Crickets. Bloody crickets. Maybe they found your blueprints by now. There's a tunnel, but it's, um, it's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow or a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger, manners. Have you got an escape plan for after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, that could carry you away to... Well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab the float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. You will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look, empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label, DSIR, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. What well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade? You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All oh, right, I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. The Uncle Jack fan club. I suppose they can't remember what he did during the war. What did he do? Voice of the occupation authority on the radio, wasn't he? That's it. You can't go in. It's a private club. Toffs and wankers only. Well, then who are you? I'm the fucking cook, ain't I? Don't look at me like that. A girl's got to eat. Look, why don't you just fuck off? You ain't got any honest business in here. From the looks of you, you ain't got any honest business anywhere. <sighs> Bunch of daft twats. I think you can go in now. 
You may have a wee headache later. Men, we must be prepared to accept evidence that conflicts with our worldview. However much we might wish to cling to it. Yes, yes, you've been torturing us all afternoon. Uh, what is it? What is it? Tell us! Tell us! I have discovered that Uncle Jack's hat is not red. It is blue. What? I conducted a careful analysis on my TV screen. And I suppose television sets have color now. No, we see no, Uncle I Jack suppose. in black and white. His hat is undoubtedly the same color as his... And now it's time for famous Britain. How on earth did he get to be Uncle Jack? Everybody likes him, except you. Have they forgotten what he did? People are forgetting a lot of things now. Oh, I suppose they don't even know what he did to you. But how did they forget who it was on the German radio every night during the occupation? They locked him up after the victory. People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know. See Uncle Jack in black and white. His hat is undoubtedly oh, the same as his eyes. Irish and since he obviously Uncle Jack tips his hat and winks and says, I especially like redheads. He is as much as telling us his hat is red. Patience, Ollie. Have you thought of that? No, because in episode 465, he taps his head and says, This old noggin is good as gold. Any intelligent person could deduce. I would not expect you to take it on faith. Oh, I also okay. researched okay. the haberdashery history of Wellington Wells. And our jaunty red hats weren't manufactured until 1956. We all know that Uncle Jack's show started in 1952. You're betraying your ignorance. Well, home is where the heart is, I suppose. there you won't get away I bet it's all up there they don't need a cook they need a maid where's the bloody parade balloon I should have brought a sweater. you could hide the Tsar and all his relations up here and no one's the wiser Time to get the float out of here. Ollie! I said float. What did you think I said? We didn't come here for the float. We came here to get into the Motoline tunnels. Everything myself. Is there a drop? Where did you go? How did we gang out of here? When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You want me to go up the chimney? Like Santa Claus after he's eaten up all the biscuits? Didn't you read the plans? There's a secret passage and a hatch. I should have brought a sweater. Oh! <laughs> 
might want to put the fire out first. There are some things I can figure out on my own, lassie. I knew there was a hatch here. I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. We haven't been in the parade in a while, have we, Margaret? I hope the executive committee listens. I hope they're willing to tell people the truth. Don't forget to get some hydrogen for your float. In case it doesn't go well in the broadcast tower. I hope you're wrong, Margaret. I'll give it a whirl. Now, so, that's not how you do it. No one seems to live here anymore. Might be a good place to camp out. What happened here? Ollie, look out! He's about to start fighting people! Great questions. Here! Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. What are you doing in my playhouse? Margaret. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? I wonder how many times I've done this and forgotten. Another bloody document control. How much we learned from the Germans. Right! No the more! Big open, Ollie. Ah! No. Looks like a plague right. whistle did a number no on more, this. Mr. Nice Guy! You better stay away from him. He's about to go. Right! I've had it with you! Cheer up! Stop. Cheer up! Make it! Oh. Oh. Ah, the Department of Senseless Idiotic Research. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bam pots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. Do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? Oh! 
I hope I've not made you late for supper. Bastard. my hydrogen. Now, I just need to walk out the door and... We have an intruder! I'm shutting all the doors! Ah, for fuck's sake! How do I get out now? Uh, up here, Ollie. Oh, no, I think right. we can open up the doors in the office. Well, well, how the hell do I do that? I can't even fly out there, can I? Oh, wait, a cannon. Oh, just need to make sure it's facing the tower and wind it up. That's a terrible idea. And now, just get in. Did you mention that before? Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. Next Who needs trains and planes? We ought to send the mail by cannon. All right, all right. I I've opened the door. Now please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now.
And it's another fabulous day. The elevators must be up these stairs. The weather is heat wet. But that's the lovely thing about heat wet. It's not always come down to the end. Ooh, I don't think I want to try to get past Headmistress while she's on the job. I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not I need to get upstairs to see the executive committee. They're busy too, I should think. Why don't you ask somebody else? And we could have people walking around saying, Oh, I think I saw him. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Could you turn on the elevator? I'm terribly sorry. I'm very busy. Why don't you ask at another window? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. Takes it out of your shoulder. It's out of power. Where do I turn on the bloody power to the elevator? did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her. Didn't you? Why? It was a sad. What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember. And up I go. What the hell happened here? Food production. Good. Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that.
charge here. You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. <laughs> the tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Hello? You? Hello? Here's Ollie. Hello? Time to pay the piper, Jack. Where is he? Good Christ. He's gone off. He can't have gone off. I've got things to tell you, Jack. It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. No, I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm, I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know, there are times that you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Hmm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you ken that? The camera's dolls. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret. Yeah. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> What am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them. They're from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a twelve year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I, I mean. God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without her, so. So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Polly. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. 
You're only Starkey. Oh, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. You're yeah, my neighbor. I was your neighbor. Oh, how could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. Oh! have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it! You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. away I've cut the power the bastards there's an emergency one of those wheelie power theme bobs you're on air someone's coming through someone's coming through the popper Be a lesson to you then. Someone's coming through the popper. Someone's coming through the popper. For God, for Harry, and St. George. Come to the end of our time. Do you hear? We come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. We're running out of power. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. You all have to stop. Stop! Stop it! But you won't, will you? You won't. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time! 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 We're running out of power!
come to the end of our time. I guess walking out the front door is out of the question. Good thing I made you get that float. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it! It's a fucking terrible day for it! Lovely day for fucking war anyway! Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! All right, sir. I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The booze run out. You have to stop digging your joy. Perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget? And go back? I was happy before. Wasn't I? Are you really a constable? I. Patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. 
It has been rather a shit day. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> 